no gunshots, but they get in. Hey, what's up, guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are finally on Upper Mississippi River Valley. Now, this is my second attempt at recording a video on here. I recorded one video uh, where I started plowing that field and did a farm tour and all that stuff. And then the video file decided to go corrupt. So, um, yeah, basically all that I did, I did a farm tour and we started plowing that field. And I talked about some other stuff, but that stuff, some of it doesn't really matter. But anyway... We're going to go ahead and do the farm tour, and we're going to finish plowing the field that I did some plowing on. So to start off, we got a pressure washer sitting here. we got the Thunder Creek FST 990 fuel trailer there. Uh, seed tank, solid fertilizer tank, liquid fertilizer tank. Uh, we got the Dodge Ram 2500 pickup sitting there uh, for the time being anyways. Uh, normally it's in the garage, but I pulled it out when we grabbed the tractor and plow. Uh, we got the smallest New Holland Draper header that's in game, and the smallest corn header that's in game. Um, in the shed here, we got the Case Agri King 1175, the 40 foot PJ Gooseneck trailer. Uh, what in the world? I don't know what the deal is with this Richard Western trailer, but it keeps it'll go black like that, or I don't know, it's weird. Anyway, got. Uh, Richard Western FS SF-16 grain trailer sitting there. And then a Farmall 1206. And then our New Holland TR-96 combine sitting there. Um, we got the Alice Chalmers 1300 field cultivator sitting outside. And then inside we got the John Deere 8 row folding planter. Massey Ferguson 30 drill. Uh, the in-game pull-behind sprayer, uh, and then an MVU-8 spreader. And then we're just going to kind of run across the field here, or the pasture here. Um, then here, we've got the Farm King Auger. Uh, these two bins we'll be using, and I'm not sure if I'm going to use that bin or not, because of how huge it is. Uh, I guess when w these two bins get full... We'll take a look at that bin and see how well the Farm King reaches it. Uh, if it doesn't reach very well, we'll go over to those two bins. And if we fill those two, uh, we'll go to that bin. And if we fill even those, we'll go to those bins. So we got, I mean, there is plenty of storage on this map. There's even, a, you know, there's grain bins everywhere. There's two there. There is three in that farmyard. There is one sitting over there. Um, let's see where else is there grain bins. There's those two, that one. There's those two in that farmyard there. Uh, there's the two here, the one in this yard. And then there is a couple more somewhere else, I thought. And then there's even a big grain silo complex over there at the dairy farm. So no worries about storage whatsoever. Um, and then our final piece of equipment to look at is this big beast right here the international 4786 i believe is what it is the dirt's covering yeah 86 uh, and then the john deere 2100 uh ripper that is what we're using for our tillage one bad thing about this map is you start off owning every single field which is kind of annoying but i guess there's nothing we can do about that now if you see our money we have eight hundred and seventy thousand dollars I have not taken out any loan at all. Uh, all I did was sell all the starting equipment and then bought the equipment that we got. Uh, you can see I have zero loan. So uh, I think I had like $2 million after selling all the equipment or something like that. But we're going to hop in this guy and get him fired up. And while that's warming up, we're going to hop on over here to Google Chrome. So I got a Google Sheets document set up for um, the series here. I have one set up also for a, another save game I have on this map where I'm running a large scale operation. Um, I've got about $7 million worth of equipment on that save game. 
So all kinds of stuff. Uh, if you guys would like to see a farm tour of that one to see like the large scale operation, uh, just leave a comment down below and let me know. I'd be happy to do a farm tour of that one um, and show you guys the large scale operation. So we are running fields 25, 27, 28, 29, and 55. Uh, if we bring this up here, so here we are, in, we are in field 25 right now. Uh, that's field 27 there. 28 and 29, that is that field there. As you can see, it isn't two separate fields, it's just one big one. But it is still two numbers, so I'm just going with it. And then what I call field 55 is this little guy right here. It's an unmarked field, and uh, in the previous video where I was trying to figure out a way to, uh, you know, where I was figuring everything out already, um, I figured out that there is 54 fields marked on here. Uh, there's this one, that one there, those two, and that one that aren't marked. But uh, I called this one field 55. So that's the fields that we're running. Um, I'm sorry for this black screen stuff. I don't know why it does that when I tab out of the game. Uh, it's never really done it before. Uh, so I'll figure out how many hectares and then convert that to acres. Course play info, that's just figuring out which corner I'll be starting in. Um, this is exactly the same as for the large save game. I just copied it, basically. Um, so some of the stuff we may not use right now, and some of it we may, who knows. I don't really plan on using much for course play at the moment, uh, just because we're small enough that we don't really need it quite yet. Uh, and then course play info for equipment. On the other save game, I'm using that to figure out, uh, like, to mark down what I have for working with. So like with the 2100, I'd figure out, you know, I'd let course play auto-generate a f working with and then decrease that by a meter. That's usually what I do, just to make sure that I got some overlap. And then, like, here I would go... 2100 you know let's just say five meters for example and then let's say okay sprayer you know 12 meters so that's just kind of an example of you know what i'm talking about uh we got first season's crop info for the fields field 25 and 27 are going to be soybeans uh that big 28 29 mix is going to be wheat and then field 55 will do corn uh, so then i've got a checklist if it's plowed, if it's cultivated, if it's planted, have I done round one of fertilizer, round two, and round three? Because uh, I have periodic plowing and the three stages of fertilization on. Uh, three states, periodic plowing on. Um, and then uh, I have yield in liters. So I'll figure out how many liters I pull off of a field. Figure out the yield in bushels. And then I'll figure out bushels per acre of that field. Now we are in field 25, so let's go ahead. We're going to calculate a field edge path. This is field 25. And we go to field work. Okay, 25 is 1.73 hectares. So, and then our... Um, 2100 is 5.2 meters so we got 1.73 hectares 5.2 meters 1.73 2100 5.2 uh, whoops wrong spot 2100 5.2 M okay and then course play info for this field uh, we will have it start if we ever use course play we will have it start in the southeast and head west. So I don't really need to set it up there because I just need to type it in here. South east head west. And away we go there. So then this is 1.73, so 4 acres. And there we go. So that's all that we got to do. Um, so now, 
Okay, I'm still recording, correct? Yes, okay. Okay, now we will finish plowing this field and move on to the next one. So yeah, I think I'm caught up to where I was in the other video. Um, yeah, I don't know, I, I think it's to do with um, my computer was running really low on space. Uh, there was even a couple of screenshots that I tried taking that it just, it wouldn't take. Um, and I think it was because of how full my uh, hard drive was getting. I've had, I had a whole bunch of, uh, yeah, there we go, now it's working. I had a whole bunch of video uh, files that I just haven't deleted yet and they were taking up a lot of space and then I just moved like a bunch of my screenshots uh, you know I just backed them up to my hard drive and took them off or my external hard drive and took them off my computer hard drive uh, along with a couple of video files that I wanted to keep and you know anything that I wanted to keep I just moved over to my external hard drive and then um, deleted it from my normal hard drive and that freed up a lot of space um, I think I freed up about 40 gigs or something like that or no not maybe not that much maybe like 30 uh, like my map that I'm working on I moved that over to the hard drive I mean I can still access everything just fine it's just not on my computer's internal hard drive you know, so it just frees up a whole lot of space uh, which is nice um, I do need to I think I need to start setting it up to where when I download new things uh, it saves it to my secondary hard drive in my computer uh, I do have two hard drives so um, I think I need to set it so it starts saving to the other one and actually this morning when I started my computer I did get a little notification that popped up uh, saying asking if I want to delete old versions of Windows to free up space and I I just clicked like like closed it I didn't actually do anything now I'm kinda wishing I had because that uh, as well would free up a lot of space because I um, I'm pretty sure that that like the old versions of Windows and stuff that those are taking up uh, a decent amount of space I mean I would assume uh, I'm sure that they probably are so I just need to go through I also have a lot of old programs and stuff that I haven't touched in ages and most likely never will that I can just delete and uninstall and all that stuff and get other stuff cleared off of my hard drive uh, so just I never have sat down and actually done that. Uh, I need to though. And so that way I can get that done and not have to worry so much anymore about space. I have a couple of games too that I haven't played that are on Steam that yeah, I need to uninstall because I don't really play them anymore and all they're doing is just taking up space along with all the mods for them. Uh, like American Truck Simulator I really don't play that anymore uh, and actually I do need to uh, in order to play that I have to re-download mods anyways because like the game is updated so many times since I last played it that it like none of my mods are even up to date anymore there's maybe like a couple so um, you know even if I were to play it I'd have to do a ton of work of deleting and re-downloading stuff but I just I don't play it anymore um, you know farm sim is about the only game that I play anymore and you know, I'm quite content with that so not uh, not too worried about having to uninstall some of those games so we're gonna go over here to field 27 next Do four passes on this end and four passes on that end. Get it opened up and uh, get working. So this was a cornfield from the looks of it. 
The other one that we were just in was a wheat field. This autosave has to kick in. I've had people ask me like why my game freezes like that. Uh, it's the autosave mod. Uh, basically every... I think this mod, particular mod, it saves every 15 minutes is what it is I think. Or something like that. I know I'm not exactly 100% sure on what exactly the interval is for it. But um, it saves every so often. Which it's really really nice because like if a game... Like I've had where a mod is bad and I've gone to sell it and found out that it freezes the game when you try and sell it. So then um, my game just locks up and I can't do anything. Well, let's say I've been playing for an hour and I mean I don't, I never think to click, go and click save or anything, you know. Um, I just keep playing, you know. and never pay attention to that but then once something like that happens then you're wishing you know man I wish I had you know gone and done that because you know my hour worth of work wouldn't be lost so you know it is a super very helpful mod uh, where I exactly got it from I can't even remember I mean I just sat and searched and searched for mods when I first got 17 I didn't really pay attention to what I got from where uh, which I most times never do because I just I see it I download it wait for it to be done you know keep searching probably while it downloads and you know I just I never pay attention to that so um, you know asking me where I found stuff 90% of the time I'm gonna have no clue because I just don't pay attention um, I mean sometimes I'll remember you know oh hey this came from you know this place but you know that's that's not often that I'm like oh yeah 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 this came from here I mean if it's something that I just recently downloaded and you know like I remember going and searching for it then I most likely will remember but a lot of time, other times, um, I won't at all. All right, here we go. Yeah, earlier I couldn't even take a screenshot on Steam it wouldn't even take it and I had pressed print screen a couple of times to take a screenshot and all it did was uh, it I had like a black completely black screen picture uh, in my screenshots folder so it I don't know it had to have been because then I went and looked uh, what was I doing oh I was trying to process I was trying to edit uh, yesterday's video and I just it made like it kept failing it would not go and then um, I don't know what made me think to go look at my hard drive but I don't know I looked at my hard drive and I saw that it had zero bytes free and instantly it clicked you know oh maybe that's why woo oh maybe that's why some of this stuff's not wanting to work and sure enough I uh, started looking and I mean I had three video you know like all four videos well excuse me I had three of the four newbie farm videos all in a folder I had a couple of old series videos like I had all the videos from Parker's Prairie yet and I had a couple of videos from County Line yet as well and I mean those are all just sitting there taking up space I had I really had no use for them to be sitting there any longer um, which I think I just hadn't gotten around to deleting them yet because normally what I do is I'll have one video in the folder at a time just to keep like what number episode I'm on um, so then like when I export a new video I'll just click on that video once and it'll like when I'm naming the video uh, it'll give me that same name 
So then all I do is just delete everything from what episode number it is to like the title. You know, like where it's episode one, plowing, a f plowing this field. So then I'll delete from the number one all the way to the end of the title. So get rid of, you know, like the plowing field, blah, blah, blah. And then I'll put in two dash, you know, and then whatever title I want for that video. And that's usually how I do that. Um, but yeah, so there was just so many video files in there yet. I still had old screenshots that I wanted to delete. And a lot of them I just moved over to my hard drive as well. Like all the newbie farm screenshots, I moved over there because I'm probably not going to be taking much of anything more for new ones on there. Because uh, I'm not exactly sure how much more playing I'm going to do on that map with, you know, the series on here and also, you know, my other UMRV save game. You know, I got plenty of save game stuff to do. And I'm sure I probably will play it, but I just won't take screenshots. Uh, while I'm playing on it, so, <clears throat> um, but yeah, so I just moved a whole bunch of stuff around and freed up a whole lot of space, so now I am all set to go again, and I gotta just remember to, you know, delete videos after I don't need them anymore. Like, I currently have, you know, yesterday's video uploading right now, um, actually the last newbie farm episode and it's you know as soon as it's done I'm basically gonna delete it uh, I'll leave I'll leave it sit in my recycling bin for a day or so but you know I'm gonna delete it from the folder most likely and you know then that'll be it for it so <clears throat> but yeah This field shouldn't take us too long to cultivate or to plow either. It definitely won't take long to cultivate. That cultivator is massive compared to this thing. You know, so we are we are starting off kind of small and old, uh, except for like the sprayer and the ripper here. Those are and the Richard Western trailer, I guess. I mean, a lot of it's sticking to the old machines and small machines like I mean this thing is small but it's definitely not an old machine uh, and there would be no way that we could run this or the field cultivator without this international tractor here uh, this thing is pretty much the main workhorse for the uh, tillage it is, it is the workhorse for tillage basically because there's nothing else that can run any tillage tools um, so this thing is going to be very busy in the spring and in the fall uh, for spring tillage and then the little bit of fall tillage. Uh, for fall tillage, I plan to just run a cultivator over the fields and I have the stubble cultivator mod. So what that does is it um, it cultivates the like the stalks, but with chop straw, it doesn't cultivate that because I'm pretty sure this map is set up for chop straw. Uh, but if it's not, then, you know, we'll, we'll just stick to spring tillage, I guess. Or maybe we'll just cultivate the fields in the fall anyway. But, um, if the map does have chop straw on it, my plan is to just cultivate it and use the stubble cultivator script, uh, to my advantage to cultivate some of the field, uh, just the stalks, but leave the chop straw on the field and then in the spring come back with the ripper again and plow it under so that is the plan for that I'm gonna go ahead and split this field a little bit here see how straight I can keep this so far so good
Yeah, I've almost thought about uh, starting a save game on this map without Seasons mod, just so I can, like, combine and mess with all the bins and stuff like that, but... Because uh, this map, all the fields are planted in Giant's Editor, but with Seasons mod, it resets the growth uh, all the way back to the beginning whenever you uh, start a save game with it. So anything that's planted uh, when the map is made is all removed right away so um, I mean it it does kind of stink but then again you wouldn't start a start right in the middle of summer uh, or fall for that matter so Yes, I do take a lot of screenshots. Uh, I'm sure some people think I'm out of my mind. But I enjoy taking screenshots. They're fun to mess with in an editor as well. Uh, I like to edit my screenshots. Just because it kind of makes them look cooler. I've heard people that say, like, people only edit their screenshots because they use awful mods. And they're trying to make the mods look good and stuff like that. But I guess I don't see how that makes a difference if you have a crappy mod you have a crappy mod no amount of screenshot editing will do that any good um, I mean I edit my screenshots because they look cooler they you know I some I a lot of times brighten them up a little bit make things look crisp and clear I mean the game itself it does look pretty good but you know adding that little bit of brightness a little bit of like saturation in the picture mess with the colors a little bit you know it's fun to do and it makes it look really cool I mean you can go you can watch the video and then you know and see how that looks and then you can go uh, look on like my Facebook page or my Instagram or my you know anything like that and uh, see the difference and whatnot um, I do believe my Flickr is listed down below uh, in the links for my social medias. I really don't use Flickr anymore, hardly. Um, but I am going to start posting the screenshots uh, on this map on there, I think, just to kind of get that back into activity. Uh, I haven't posted on there since... Boy, I want to kind of look. I'm kind of curious to see when the last time I posted on Flickr was. I know it's been quite some time. Uh, I haven't even touched the Flickr app in months. Profile. February 1st was the last time that I posted on there. It was just after I started my Eastern Dakota Farms map. So, yeah, definitely think it's time for uh, that to come back to life a little bit here. So, I will uh, will start posting some stuff on there again and bring that back to life a little bit. You know, it's just kind of with like Facebook and stuff. Facebook and Instagram. Oop, too far. Uh, with Facebook and Instagram, it just kind of... I think it's kind of died out, really. Um, I don't think there are as many people that use Flickr anymore. I, I know there's still some people that post to Flickr and to Facebook uh, and even Instagram as well but it just doesn't seem to be as active of a thing anymore like when I first got Flickr like there was continuous posts like serious mods able modding uh, Kramar J I think is how you say that or Kramer J uh, the guy that created the PJ trailers uh, the goosenecks uh, you know all those people were active like quite frequently and posted a lot of stuff but now you just very few people uh, especially in like the farm sim world like you know serious mods in them uh, just really don't post there anymore um, and I I don't either I just kind of forgotten about it I guess you could say And 
I mean, the only reason I ever really think about it is because of the fact that I still have the app on my phone. But, okay, so, since the timer has gone off now, um, that is calling for the end of the video. What I'm going to do, uh, in this series, I am going to do quite a bit of off-camera work, uh, just to try and kind of keep things moving. Uh, so that way we're not doing the same thing continuously for days upon days on end. Uh, because that gets boring for me to keep recording, and I'm sure it probably gets boring for you guys to keep watching. Now, what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to finish plowing this field, and then I'm just going to get the headlands done on field 55 there. And then in the next, and then tomorrow, uh, we will work on uh, plowing that field. And we should be able to get a good portion of that field done, if not the entire field done, uh, tomorrow. And if we do, then uh, we'll be able to start on the last field there. So, Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.